The Manhattan DA is investigating after a subway passenger died following an encounter with another rider on a train. This afternoon, a rally was held in Lower Manhattan for the man who died. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram was there. Justice Bush! Justice Bush! On the same subway platform where 30 year old Jordan Neely took some of his last breaths. We don't Dozens gathered holding signs in honor of Neely, who many say was a Michael Jackson impersonator who entertained subway riders. Our life was sensibly taken away. Someone who's uh, homeless, struggling with mental health. And I think right now a lot of folks are infuriated because our government is not prioritizing housing. Police sources say around 2 30 Tuesday afternoon, Neely was allegedly throwing trash, yelling at passengers, and acting erratically on the F train at the East Houston and Lafayette Street station. Things quickly escalated when the 24 year old man, who police say may have been a Marine, tried to subdue him by using what appears to be a chokehold. We're just outraged as a community that uh, there has been no arrest or formal bringing of charges against a man who's yet to be identified who killed Jordan Neal. Police say Neely eventually lost consciousness and later died. This is absolutely devastating. This, this should have never happened. This was absolutely preventable. Governor Kathy Hochul Wednesday. That was deeply disturbing, and that causes a lot of fear in people. And actually, the mayor and I are working so hard to restore that sense of safety. CBS 2 has learned Neely was homeless, had a history of mental illness, had prior arrests, and had an active warrant out for his arrest for a felony assault. Advocates say no matter his past, Neely did not deserve to die. The cause of Jordan Neely's death is still unknown. Investigators say they are waiting for the autopsy results. It's still unclear if the men involved will face any charges. In Lower Manhattan, Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News.